Ooh, we have some dope news for you, Mario. Yes, right. What's up? All right. started with this video you already know give it a thumbs up man like 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 this video because we bring the heat every video all right we have a couple of dope gaming news items for this video we got some fire nintendo news we got some fire xbox news and we got some fire playstation news bro we covering everything in this video first we starting to get more clues on what this upcoming rumored nintendo direct could be about now for those of you not in the loop it's being leaked uh, from industry insiders that Nintendo's Nintendo Direct will be July 20th. Monday, July 20th is supposedly the date for the next Nintendo Direct. It's been a minute since we got a full-fledged Nintendo Direct. Now, the, heat, the rumors are heating up and it may not even be a full Nintendo Direct as previously thought. It may just be a Mario-focused Nintendo Direct. All of this, take with a grain of salt until Nintendo officially reveals it. But, a Super Mario 35th Anniversary Twitter account was um, discovered, leading many to speculate that the next upcoming Nintendo Direct will be focused on Mario! Now, this also falls in line with the rumors that they we're going to have some type of Mario. Um, all, I'm thinking it's going to be a Mario All-Star game all packed in one. But no Nintendo, they want to get your money. They probably sell them individually. Mario 64, Mario Sunshine, Mario 3D World, all rumored to be coming to the Nintendo Switch in some form, remastered, remake. I'm hoping they do a Mario Odyssey type remake for Mario 64. How dope were those, the Mario 64 um, planet in Mario Odyssey? Come on, Nintendo. Don't just reskin. Don't just HD upscale the same game. I bought that game four times on four different Nintendo consoles. So, I think that's dope. The Mario games are dope. Um, part of me is, but I played them all already. That's why I'm hoping for something new um, with this Mario 35th anniversary. But time will tell. A Nintendo Direct seems to be right, right, right around the corner, dudes. Next news item. Power your dreams. We're getting the first details of what the Xbox um, Series X event will be about now microsoft has already confirmed the event is july 23rd this is coming from robert sonato industry insider he's gone into detail as far as what the xbox game showcase will be about he's saying that it will be streaming at 1080p 60 frames per second um and after the stream is over, video on demand will be available at 4K 60 frames per second, which is what Xbox is pushing, 4K 60. He's saying the length of the presentation is 60 minutes, which I think is perfect. Some of these Xbox events have been drawn on for too long. Xbox is notorious for having two-hour events with a lot of fluff and garbage in it. So 60 minutes, concise. We just want to see games, Xbox. PlayStation laid out a 
perfect blueprint. That PlayStation 5 event was fire, bro. Also, he's saying that there's going to be tips on stream. That's a little tacky, Xbox. I understand for YouTubers, for us to have tips where you could tip us while we're streaming. But for a big multi-million dollar corporation, really, y'all taking tips on stream. Those tips better be going towards... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The tips better be going towards uh, Black Lives Matter or something, bro. <laughs> That's what the tips should go towards. You know what I'm saying? But they're going to have tips on stream. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how that goes. All right. And so, can't wait to see what Xbox shows, bro. Also, they're discontinuing. Xbox is reportedly discontinuing Xbox One X consoles. I can see why, bro. I believe the Xbox One X is still going to be more powerful than the Lockhart, even though the Lockhart is going to have more modern technology. And because I want to see how the games run, bro. If the games are running good on my Xbox One X, I don't see a reason for me to buy $405 for Xbox Series X. I'm just keeping it a, a buck, bro. Got to keep it honest. All right. Also, some more interesting. I uh, know. Let's get to the PlayStation 5 news, and then we'll come back to on the Xbox news. Bro, we could have our release dates for the next gen consoles. Again, take this with a grain of salt until the companies announce it. Still Robert Sorum. The only reason why I'm quoting this dude is because he was right before. According to him, Xbox Series X launching November 19th with a PlayStation 5 a week later on November 27th. Now, I don't think that, that doesn't even sound right for Sony to go a week after. And when is Black Friday, bro? Are they gonna miss Black Friday launching November 27th? That doesn't sound, maybe the 27th is Black Friday. But I could imagine Either one of those console manufacturers, they're going to either launch on the same date or days apart. I don't think either one of them want to give another company a week ahead of time. So take that with a grain of salt. Either way, all signs are pointing towards a usually a week before Black Friday or a couple of days before Black Friday. Neither one of these con, um, console manufacturers are going to mix Black, Black Friday. That would be insane all right next news item this is pretty interesting rumors are heating up that microsoft might be making xbox live gold for free for the xbox series x now this is because at the moment um you cannot renew your membership for a year of xbox live gold on um, Xbox's website. Now, a couple reasons. I don't. I don't think it's because they're gonna make it free. I really think because they're gonna do some kind of bundling. Cause right now I'm subscribed to Xbox Ultimate, where my Game Pass and my Gold is all in one. I think they're gonna rebrand it, call it something different, and have it all in one. And here is why. This this really isn't new news, but. Major sites are just now reporting this like it's new news. Microsoft actually announced this last year that Project X Cloud is going to be free with Game Pass. I think Microsoft, instead of having a subscription for Game Pass, a subscription for X Cloud, a subscription for Xbox Live, they're going to have just one subscription and call it something new Xbox Lit or something new. <coughs> Xbox Ultimate is probably be probably the name it comes with and included in xbox ultimate will be x cloud game pass and live all in one subscription bundle which should be a great deal for gamers and i think that's what they're gonna go with all right dudes what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video sound off in the comment section below i want to know but before you go bro Click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Sorry, kiddo. My son wanted to come in. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. 
I gotta hook you up. That's right, I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice, Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter, at Obi-Wan Plays, and that's it. You're in for the giveaway, but wait, there's more. Do you wanna join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you wanna get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob one plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces